Greetings to all. Let us thank God. Today's thought. Believing others is easy, but believing in yourself, that's the real challenge. So, my dear children, believe yourself and do the best. Dear children, I hope that you have seen the last two videos of the lesson, the last stone carver. Let us recall what had happened in section 1 and section 2 before entering into the section 3. The last stone carver, section 1. There was an old stone carver. He had a son. His name was Kobal. The old man liked his traditional work, but his son Kobal did not like to work for low income. So, he went to Agra like other stone carvers to make money. The old man had a servant boy. His name was Salim. He loved his master very much. He encouraged the old man to continue the carving work. His presence gave hope and happiness to the old man. The old man wanted to complete the half-finished statue. My dear children, let us recall section 2. The stone carver, section 2. The old man wished that the statue would be the best and he thought that it was his last statue. He started to work without taking food. His servant boy often compelled him to eat. The old man wanted his son Kobal to learn finer details of carving. Salim said that it should come from within. Finally, the man was fainted. Dear children, let us read the last stone carver, section 3. From the workshop, the chipping sound of the chisel reached his ears. He listened. Had his ears deceived him? No. He could hear it again, the strong blow of the hammer on the top of the chisel. Kobal, he was back. Kobal had returned. He would help him. They would finish the statue. He stumbled to his feet, crossed the small room and reached the door. Let us know the meaning. When he opened his eyes, he heard the chipping sound of the chisel. He thought that his son Kobal came back and he was carving the statue. Kobal he was about to shout when the words froze on his lips. No, he wanted to cry out, stop, stop the work. But he couldn't move. Shaw had immobilized him. He stood staring at the back of the young stone carver, working on the face of the statue, on the eyebrows, arching over a pair of fine eyes. The old man wanted to stop him, but he stood with surprise and looked at the back of the young stone carver working on the face of the statue. But it was in his son sitting cross-legged before the biggest statue he had ever carved. It was Salim, his servant. The old man watched stunned. The first wave of shock, fear and anger passed to give way to a feeling of great relief and happiness. The old man realized that it was not his son and it was Salim, his servant. Salim was sculpting Krishna's statue in a wonderful way. The old man watched everything with shock. The first wave of shock fear and anger 
past to, to give way to a feeling of great relief and happiness. He felt happy to see his servant boy carved the statue. Hey Ram, the old man whispered, Hey Ram, and trotted over to the boy. Dropping his hand on his shoulder, he said softly, Salim. The startled boy turned and looked up at his master. He rose to hit feet clumsily, the hammer and chisel still in his hands. The old man touched his shoulder and called Salim. Immediately, the boy fell on his feet with hammer and chisel. Salim, the old man searched for words. I, 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 only wanted to help whispered the boy i i learn if you teach me master ji i have practiced secretly for almost two years in the quarry please tell me for many years i wanted to become a sculpture like you yet i forgot the feeling but it proved too strong i know there is nothing in this world i would like to do more there is nothing in life that i could do better I want to become a stone carver. Will you please teach me, Master Ji? Salim said that he had practiced sculpting secretly for almost two years in the quarry. He wanted to become a sculptor like his master. He begged his master to teach him stone carving. The old man pulled the boy's head against his shoulder and whispered, There is nothing I can teach you, my son, Beta. Go ahead. You have it in your hands and in your heart. I know you will be one of the country's finest stone carvers. Written by Sikrun Srivastav The old man told that there was nothing to teach him. As he already had it in his hands and heart, he had found his successor. Let us know the meanings. Stumbled, lost balance, immobilized, stopped from moving, trotted over, moved unsteadily way, startled, surprised. Dear children, let us do the exercise now. Read section 3, paragraph 1 and 4 and answer the following questions. Dear children, we have to read again the paragraph 1 and 4 and then we have to answer the questions given below. Let us read paragraph 1. From the workshop, the chiffing sound of the chisel reached his ears. He listened. Had his ears deceived him? No. He could hear it again, the strong blow of the hammer on top of the chisel. Let us read the questions now. Question 1. Who listened to the chiffing sound of the chisel? The answer is the stone carver. Question number two. Who was working with the hammer and chisel? The answer is Salim. Paragraph four. But he couldn't move. Shock had immobilized him. He stood staring at the back of the young stone carver, working on the face of the statue and the eyebrows arching over a pair of fine eyes. Let us read the questions. Who was staring? Answer is the stone carver. Second one. Who was the young stone carver? Answer is Salim. What was he working on? A statue is the answer. 
Next exercise. Match the tools with art forms. There are five set of tools in column A and its art form in column B. We have to match it. Let us try now. First one, hammer and chisel. The art form is sculpture. Second one, paint, brush and palette. The art form is painting. Third one, molds and roll pin. The art form is pottery. Fourth one, scissors and paper. The art form is collage. Last one, needle and thread. The art form is embroidery. Section 3. Next day, when he opened his eyes, the old man saw someone completing the statue that he had left unfinished. He thought that it was Gopal, but it was his servant by Salim. Salim was sculpting Krishna's statue in a wonderful way. Salim said that he had practiced sculpting secretly for almost two years in the quarry. He wanted to become a sculptor like his master. He begged his master to teach him stone carving. The old man told that there was nothing to teach him as he already had it is in his hands and heart. The old man felt very very happy to continue his work. Let us recall the story The Last Stone Carver. There was an old stone carver. He had a son. His name was Kobal. The old man liked his traditional work but his son Kobal did not like to work. So he went to Agra like other stone carvers to make money. The old man got a servant boy. His name was Salim. He came before five years to work for him. The stone carver thought that he was the last stone carver. But he was surprised and felt happy when he knew that his servant boy Salim had the talent to carve the statue and he liked to do the carving work. My dear children, life is short but art is long. Dear children, I hope that you have understood the lesson The Last Stone Carver. Read the lesson and enjoy. Good luck. Thank you.